driving down the road. Looks like we'll have to take a detour. Warning to White Forest. They've got no idea the Combine's heading their way. Nobody's home. Wonder how long it's been deserted. They must have a transmitter in one of these buildings. Well, here's the transmitter. Mm, no power, though. Let's see if we can get some electricity going. Keep a lookout while you poke around inside.
crap. More? Probably a scouting party. Depleted. Here it is. Okay. Uh, the signal's really weak. Well, let's give it a try. White Forest, come in. White Forest, do you read? White Forest, do you read? This is White Forest. Identify yourself. This is Al Alex. Alex Vance? Where are you? I expected you hours ago. Well, we had a bit of a setback. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? The survival of Earth depends on the data you get. Yes, I know. But the Combine, they're heading your way. What? What's that? What? You're heading our way? Well, I should hope so. No, not what? us. What was that? The combine. You You're breaking up, ready. Alex. What? What? Crap. I wonder if he got any of that. Let's get back on the road. Here, let me open the gate. Let's keep going. See if we can pick up the road somewhere ahead. Heading the right way. One of those advisor pods. Back in the Citadel, those things we saw. There's an advisor around here someplace.
Looks like we weren't the first to find this place. The board said we should kill them before they hatch. Hmm. Ah, life support. What do you say, Gordon? Shall we pull the plug? Sorry about this. Hmm. Maybe I can get this open. There we go. Over to you, Gordon. Gordon, thank God you're all right. The thing was hurt, did you see it? I can only imagine what it would have done if... Uh-oh. Autonomous unit subsumed. Sounds like it called its friends. With all tenets of adversarial assistance at... Soldiers! Threat level adjustment. Probe. Expunge. <laughs> We gotta get out of here. Let's get to the car.
get out of here. Let's get out of here. Since you brought that chopper in on your tail, you want to maybe help us take it down? Oh, with pleasure. Take it down!
are we glad to see you guys. Huh. That was amazing. Huh. The way you threw their minds right back at them. Well, I could sure use a drink. Who's with me? We need to get back on the road, but our engine's shot to hell. I don't suppose you got any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> got a whole shop over here. Come on, we'll get you set up. supplies out of the White Forest base, but a few days ago the Combine cut off access. Hmm. What do you think, Gordon? Maybe while I'm getting the car fixed up, you could see about clearing up that roadblock. All the fresh zombies coming out of City 17 have kept them pinned down. It's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, we'll let you out there. Huh. He's always up for it. Right, Gordon? We got a trap door up here where I can let you over to the other side. That way you'll get to see the gun before it sees you.
Come on back and we'll get going. Thanks for clearing out the yard, Freeman. Take your job. Not only did they help me fix the car, they threw in a bonus. Special this week only. It's like an onboard radar for you guys. Picks up little beacon jobbers like this one here. We've hidden a bunch of these things out there in the field to signal emergency stashes. So keep an eye out. When you see your dashboard light up, you're gonna want to stop and investigate. I'll fill you in on the road, Gordon. Thanks again, you guys. the radar. Stop the car, Gordon. According to the radar, it looks like there's a supply cache here. <laughs> I guess you cleared up that little problem. Combine put a roadblock way out here. Hey, something on the radar.
too much. Let's get moving before they send more. Well, let's find the power supply for this force field. There's the power source for the shields. Huh. They haven't skimped on security either. Let me see if I can disable the shields and get you closer to the reactor. Okay, it looks like I can open them from here, but I won't be able to come in with you. Here goes. Let's hope there's no more combine between here and White Forest.
Doesn't sound good. Over there, I see an antenna. Huh, I think that's white forest. Well, we're close enough to make it the rest of the way on foot if we have to. Must have been the crash we heard. White four sentries are doing their job. What the hell? A strider! Over here, Gordon! Wait, it sounds like Dog, please. <laughs> You're all right. You have been going there. Everything working all right? You all right down there? We're fine. Is dog okay? Better now. We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All right, thanks. Okay, let's go. Come on, Gordon. Get the car and we'll challenge the dog to a race. Good boy. Looks like we need your help again. Would you mind? Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, White Forest, we made it. Safe at last.
Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. Shall we? I don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> you and me both. What now? This oh no, what's that? Well, now what? I'm pretty sure this is All right. right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the okay, secondary dog. silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So, have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, nah, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was. So, do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? It kills hunters. How did you city folk kill hunters? We sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground with our bare hands. I used to kill 10, 20 a day, just using my fists. Oh, so when you're out in the field, you're gonna be punching hunters? In the field? I'm not going out in the field. I'm a radio operator. <sighs> That's it. Leave. You don't need to be here, and I'm not gonna continue the lesson until you leave. I'm staying right here. I am serious. Leave. Not going to continue until you leave. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... What happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's gonna be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for him. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! 
Finar, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. All right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... I know, I know. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Mm. What next in a parade of constant interruption? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> Folks, alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Well, what are you waiting for, Freeman? A hug? The situation's not going to investigate itself. and get down that ladder. 